Have you ever sent someone a naked photo when they didn't explicitly ask for it? Well, you might be a criminal. Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. As of September 1st of this year, it's now a Class C misdemeanor in the state of Texas to send an unsolicited, sexually explicit photo or video via text message, email, dating app, pretty much any electronic way you can think of. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the new law, what my thoughts are on it, and I also wanna know what yours are. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are there things that could go wrong? And should it be implemented everywhere? Let me know below. The act of digitally flashing is becoming increasingly popular. In fact, more than 50% of women report that they have received either a photo or video of a sexually explicit act when they didn't ask for it. Now in the state of Texas, if you sent it, it could cost you more than $500. When I first read about this law, I was really curious to know what other people thought about it. So I asked my Instagram followers, and I gotta be honest, the line was drawn pretty clear in the sand. The guys who responded mostly said that they understood but thought that it was too much money, or told me that when they receive unsolicited naked pics, it doesn't bother them, so they don't see why it would bother other people. The women, they felt very differently. I received countless replies with them telling me that they were happy about the new law and hoped that it would take place across the US. They were tired of getting these unwanted naked pics. A lot of times from people that they've never met or don't know. Myself, I get it. But I have to admit that it's something I haven't really thought a lot about until this law. And that isn't because I've never received any explicit media or a naked photo that I wasn't expecting, but because I just don't think I'm threatened by it. But here's what I'm thinking. Women overall, and I'm making a very broad statement here, I don't think they care to see a random guy's dick. But I think straight guys probably rarely have an issue receiving a photo of exposed breasts or other female body part, whether they know the person or not. There's a huge power differential here. Men's sexuality can often come off as, and in many cases, be intrusive and abrasive. From an early age, we're socialized to believe that men can't control themselves when they're horny. This leads females to believe males are unable to do anything besides act like an animal when they're aroused, and it teaches males that they can't control their hormones, so why even bother trying? Guys, just because you have a dick, doesn't mean everyone wants to see it all the time. 50% of the population has one, you're not special. Also, I imagine straight guys would be very bothered if they were randomly receiving unsolicited dick pics all the time. I bet then they would probably be in more support of the law. I do think that stopping online sexual harassment is a great idea, but I'm not sure HB 2789, the law in Texas, gonna make a huge difference. A person commits an offense if the person knowingly transmits by electronic means visual material that one, depicts any person engaging in sexual conduct or with the person's intimate parts exposed, or depicts covered genitals of a male person that are in a discernibly turgid state, which means erect, and is not sent at the request of or with the express consent of the recipient. My concerns are how things are not adequately defined in the law. Intimate parts could be defined a lot of different ways. In some cultures, that might be an exposed midriff or a bare chest. And on the bare chest note, if a guy sends a shirtless photo, is that legal? Whereas if a woman sends a shirtless photo, it would be illegal? What about women breastfeeding? The law doesn't say the image has to be sexual in nature. And even then, how do we define what is and isn't sexual? It's objective. Another thing that comes to mind for me is the phrase, express consent of the recipient. Is an individual supposed to ask every time? What if you're dating and it's something you regularly do? Could this also be turned into revenge porn? What if your ex saves the pics and then claims they never asked for them? These are a lot of what ifs, but I think they're things that are gonna come up. The law also doesn't state what type of proof is necessary to make a claim. I could see a lot of this going to court. Although I'm not sure for how long, it's a $500 fine and court is expensive. Lastly, I'm curious how someone reports the incident. Is there the possibility of them getting shamed, like women often are when they come forward about sexual abuse or rape? Overall, I think this law is a step in the right direction, but I honestly don't know how much of a difference I think it's going to make. I think at best, it's going to maybe make a few people think twice before they send that pic, which isn't a bad thing. I'm curious to see what happens with this law and if more go into effect. And I do wanna know what you think. Would you like to see this all across the country? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.